Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl right here. It's Dominica fam. If this is your first time on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family, okay? Cause we litty out here. We litty out here. You don't want to miss out. Anyway, so today, fam, I'm talking about something very interesting. We're talking about marriage. As you can tell by the title already, we're talking about marriage. But today, actually, this video, guys, forgive me, eh? This is Barbados. <laughs> And the sun, I don't even know how many degrees right now, but fam, it, it can burn you. That's how hot it is. I have ceiling fan, standing fan, but I turned off both of them because, you know, man's going to film and it's going to be noisy. But anywho, <laughs> we're going to try to film this video like that. So forgive me for the fanning. Anyways, now this so video is, you know, it prompted up as a result of what two YouTubers just did. Like the saga that has gone down between two YouTubers, Jackie Aina and Daina. Ekweme. Jackie, she's a Nigerian who is a YouTuber, but she lives in the abroad, okay? She got married at 21, she got divorced, and now she's 32, she's recently engaged, okay? And then Dinah, on the other hand, she's a young girl, I think she's 24 now. She's a Nigerian YouTuber, lives in Nigeria. Now, Jackie did this video, and she was talking about marriage and how she doesn't think, you know, women should rush into it. Like, she was basically talking about her own personal experiences and how you know she feels it's better you take your time to discover yourself as a woman do things for yourself she even went as far as giving you know practical examples of her mom and you know how the marriage between her parents you know she felt her mom was a second hand and all that now diana got triggered and then did a reaction video to that and you know was counteracting I mean, just basically stating her own opinions, which from what I, I, you know, I understood from what she was trying to say, she was basically saying, getting married early, she didn't see it as a problem, obviously, because that's what she did. She gave her reasons. She gave, you know, reasons why she thinks it's not an issue <laughs> to get married on time. Now, before I even jump into whatever the two of them had to say, let me say this and let me state this. Marriage should not happen because of what anybody has to say there is nothing like the best time to get married trust me there's nothing like the specific time to get married as a lady you should be the only person who you know you should be the one to take that decision for yourself do not get married for the wrong reasons that's my that's my point now nobody gets married with the intention of coming out of it okay so basically this is an this is like something you want to go into for the rest of your life so i don't see any reason why anybody should influence your thoughts your ideas or the reasons why you should get married if you feel it's time for you to get married no matter your age if you feel you you know you're at that point where you can juggle marriage and career and whatever or you think you want to wait till when you're ready till when you've achieved one or two things before just make sure it is your choice that's my problem because i feel a lot of young ladies get married for the wrong reasons in this day and age like some people be like oh all my mates are married oh i'm 30 oh it's that fam don't do that you don't let family friends societal pressures whatever force you or make you decide to get married even if you're 35 mm, and you think this person is not the right person for you you just you know you just feel like okay you know what i'm 35 time has gone i need to get married. i'm not praying for this for anybody but i'm just i'm just saying what comes to what's safe it gets to that point this is the rest of your life that we're talking about so don't do it for the wrong reasons even if you're 21 if you're 22 and you feel okay i think it's time for me to get married i think you know i'm ready to get married i feel not because somebody is telling you you need to get married on time i'm not going to judge you if you're young and you think you can handle this institution called marriage go for it i've seen people who got married young and it worked for them in my own family my mom let me see my mom at what 21 she was already married and it's what it worked for her she's fine she's happy with her marriage everything worked for her. doesn't mean i should now get married at the, at 21 do you understand me when i was 21 i remember something happened when i was 21 and then i i think i had let me just give you guys a little story i think i had like this cut or something and then i called my dad and i oh i started crying fam i'm a bit when it comes to my dad i can be a very big baby so i was just literally bawling out my eyes and i'm like oh daddy i just had a cut blah blah blah, blah. you know what this man told me he said when your mother was this age, I had already married her. She was, in fact, I think my mom already had me when she was 21. So, 
I was like, but I'm not my mom, so why are you comparing me to her? He only was like, fam, you're 21, you know, basically trying to just make jokes out of the fact that I should be more mature or whatever. But he knew I was just jokingly crying. It's not like I was seriously crying or something. But my point is, even me, in as much as I've, I saw my mom being a young mom, like, you know, she did it, it worked for her, doesn't necessarily mean I can feel in her shoes because I'm not her. So this should be a personal decision. Let it be you. Do not let anybody tell you, oh, you need to wait till your social and so age before you get married. Do not let anybody tell you, oh, when you marry young, you're making a mistake. You're missing out in life. This, that, that. If you think, I repeat, if you feel like you can do it, do it. Personally, I cannot. Let me just state it. I can't. At this stage in my life, I cannot handle marriage. That thing called marriage, that face of life called marriage i can't when my dad made that joke about when i was 21 like how he had married my mom i just started laughing because it was very funny i, I can't, could not imagine myself 21 22 in a man's house hello wait hold up hold up hello sis has got to live her life first then eh? sis ain't ready if you don't know i'm a medical student okay the amount of things that people say going on in the labor room is enough to scare me tell me wait first is this what you want to go and do you want to rush into this <laughs> hold up hold up it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't a joke okay taking care of yourself another human being and then children you think it's easy to be a wife fam don't let anybody put you in that situation because when things get tough you will just be having regrets upon regret nobody is saying it is so difficult to be in marriage but trust me it's not something that would just it's not rice and beans you can't compare being married to when you're single when you just wake up in the morning and you feel like eating chips and that is it you eat what you want to eat Ain't nobody disturbing your life when you're married. You're not going to be living life for yourself alone. So if you let anybody influence this decision, my sister, if it gets to the part where you need to tough up, toughen up your skin, you will. Anyways, the summary of what I'm trying to say is there's nothing like the right time to get married. Whether you're getting married too young, too old, whatever. And I feel like a lot of ladies these days, eh, we put unnecessary pressure on ourselves. Say, oh, I'm 25. Oh, all my mates are getting married. I need to get married. Do, 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 do. If, even if you're 25, even if you're 35, 30, whatever it is, and you know you're not mentally ready to handle it, you're not emotionally ready for it, you have not you're not going to marry yourself let's not forget so you need to even find a reasonable man some people just end up marrying anything and anybody they see because they feel they are all their mates are married so any mr koye that crosses your front you marry you are not serious mr otenku will come over oh because you you think you are now 30 so you gotta settle down with anything you see you just settle for for the rest of your life fam you just marry anybody for the rest of your life we're not talking about two days or we're not talking about two years relationship marriage and if you think you want to get married because of that nobody is going to stop you but my sister the reason why i'm saying if you're going to get married make sure you're doing it for the right reasons is just so that you don't have anybody to blame at the end of the day do you understand me now fam let's talk about the two people that started this conversation i feel like what a lot of you are missing out on is the fact that everything they said they said it out of their own personal experiences now especially in jackie's case if I, I went through the comments on that video, I saw a lot of people saying, Oh my God, sis, preach, preach. I wanted, I needed to hear this. I just got out of a divorce. I saw another one saying, Oh my God, I'm 30-something. Uh, I'm uh, I needed to hear this. People are making it look like, because I'm not married, I'm this, I'm that. People that could relate to her story. Okay? Now, Dinah, on the other hand, she made this video. She's a young mom. She's an Igbo girl. <laughs> Hello. If you don't know about the eastern part of Nigeria, excuse me marriage is a big deal now dina as we all know she's an Igbo youtuber she's a typical traditional woman if there's if i almost all of her videos she's always speaking Igbo. so you won't be surprised if somebody like that sees marriage as a big deal you know or sees marriage as something a woman should because trust me that's what the the tradition has even made it to look like if you ask me because as in, in fact some families as you're growing up as a girl they are training you for marriage Bam some girls marriage to them is a big deal okay just my own is do what makes you happy so, now talking about diana on the other hand the video she made a lot of people have you know said lots of things regarding this video like oh my god she's naive oh my god she's going to um she got married for the wrong reasons oh this da 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 let me ask you people do you guys expect somebody who just got married recently to come and sit in front of the camera and say oh my god i just made a big mistake oh my god i should have waited if you follow her video 
religiously because i watch i like i am i'm a true dynamite i watch her videos a lot even before this whole saga there was a time she said she, when she wanted to get married her, her dad was not really in support of it he felt like you know she should take her time and all that be getting married even she said it herself that her friends are surprised she got married early because she was never the type to say oh you need to brush into marriage this that that so i feel it just came up for her and she felt it was the right time to do it and i don't i was not expecting her to sit down and do a video and say she just made a mistake in front of her husband really even jackie on the other hand you want to tell me now that if that her marriage at 21 had worked out do you think the probability she'll sit down in front of the camera to tell you she made a mistake is very high no Fam, so what you need to understand as a human is that most times people say things because it suits them. Do you understand? Because that is what is working for them at that point in time. It shouldn't let you, it shouldn't define your move. You shouldn't feel like you shouldn't tell yourself, oh, that is the right thing to do. Oh, because Jackie said you should wait till, you know, you've discovered yourself. Then you feel, there's no guarantee. That's my point. Even if you wait and become a successful woman, you've made it, blah, blah, blah. Okay, God even bless blesses you with a successful man at that age there is no guarantee that is not a guarantee that your marriage will work if your marriage will work it does not have a formula it does not have a textbook it does not have any specific you know way marriage is not something that you can say oh if i go into it at this point in time or in my life or at this age it will work out fine there is nothing like that so you just have to make your decision pray about it go into it and try as much as possible to make it work the right time to get married is personal let it be your own when you think you're ready okay when you think you're ready let that be the right time not when your parents think it's time for you to get married or when your friends or whatever or even your spouse shouldn't even be the person to determine when you should get married say you're in a long term say you're in a relationship with somebody and the man is saying i want to settle down if you're not ready let him know that you're not ready if you think you're not mentally ready to handle everything or emotionally ready or whatever it is let your spouse know that you don't do not be pressured into getting married don't let your age be the reason why you should get married age is just a number trust me even if you think you're i don't even know just do not let any unnecessary reason compel you into getting married because marriage is not a one day thing, my dear and marriage is not right some things it is not, it's not all going to be rosé rosé fam they are going let me keep quiet for they say uh, you might how do you know what you are saying but i'm telling you it does sometimes you don't even need your own experiences to learn people's experiences should be enough for you guys see how i'm dripping sweat i told you guys barbados is hot i have a standing fan here it's silly fan and i'm about and i'm about to go on the two of them and go and take a shower because i'm tired and this heat is not even helping matter so i'm going to end this video here i hope i have been able to pass on the message i tried to pass on do not let anybody determine when you're supposed to get married if you're unmarried you're still a young girl you think you still have things to do for yourself before you get married fine if you're not if you're if you're not where you want to be yet you think your partner is ready and you feel you can handle it and still juggle life at the same time i saw my mom do it it works for her and i know other women that have done it and it worked for them i've seen people who had to wait till they achieve everything they want and then get married and it's still working for them as well so just do you, sis. Do you. Don't let anybody tell you what to do. Don't let anybody confuse you. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Fam, you really don't want somebody to make that decision for you or push you into making that decision because when the tough times come up, you're going to be like, oh my god. I'm going to end this video right here, right now. If you like this video, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and join the family right now. I'm going to say bye. Peace.